We're currently one hour and 20 minutes into Friday Night Smackdown for tonight, and really, I made the conscious decision to do this review now, and not watch the six-man tag main event between Braun Strowman, Heavy Machinery, Miz, Morrison, and Ziggler, because, quite frankly, I just don't give a damn. Like, who, who cares? And really, the only thing on this show, or the two things that were worth talking about, is this, the whole Jeff Hardy, Sheamus, quote-unquote, contract signing, which turned into literally a urine shower in the opening segment of Friday Night Smackdown on Fox. Seriously, this was that bad. And then the AJ Styles, Daniel Bryan, IC title tournament final. That was fantastic. That went four commercials, went for a heap of time. Really, really good. My only complaint is that it didn't go on last, but then again, what can you do? So, basically... I'm just going to rip apart this opening segment for most of this review because, quite frankly, that's all I feel like doing. This was just so damn horrible. Seriously, look, Jeff Hardy and Sheamus, in my past two weeks worth of SmackDown reviews, I've praised and talked about how they're doing such a great job at this storyline. It feels, like, real. It feels personal and whatnot. So tonight, they opted to recreate the DX, or not DX, but the Shawn Michaels and the McMahon's piss test segment from 2006 where they had Jeff Hardy stand in like a, oh, not, a mini, not a mini cubicle, but you guys saw the picture. Jeff Hardy was standing there with the doctor. He did a piss test. So he had this literally full jug's worth of urine. And then they proceeded to just throw it in Seamus' face. You're seeing it now. How ridiculous does this look? S seriously. And like when I'm watching this, I'm thinking to myself, people justify this and say it's a kid's show. But are kids entertained by this? This is as bad as Drake Maverick pissing on Robert Roode's row back in 2018. That's how bad this was, alright? The way they hammed this on was Seamus, and like you'll see a picture in like a minute and a half or so, where Seamus' his face is like blood red, and he's like in the bathroom, and he's like, you know, taking medication, and he's spitting out. Like, what is this? Seriously, this is how you open Friday Night Smackdown on Fox, alright? They do the video package to recap, you know, the feud we've gotten so far, and then they do this segment. Just... <sighs> this company, Vince McMahon, the piss jokes, the, you know, the, the crap jokes, like, all this stuff. You, you, it's, this is a Vince McMahon thing. It's so obvious. And God, it comes off bad. This came off so terribly. I mean, seriously, like, n no one enjoyed this. I, if, you, if you did, I just don't get it. Dude, like, this is something which is almost unanimously hated upon. Just, oh, dude, I can't be bothered, man. And, you know, like, you start the show off with this, and it makes you think, do I even, do I want to turn the show off all, all together? Because you had this segment where Seamus and Jeff Hardy, they both came out, Seamus had a bunch of security guards and whatnot, the doctor was there, the doctor takes the piss, or the, the piss jug or whatever, and then they're cutting back and forth promos, Seamus is mocking Jeff Hardy a bit, and then Jeff Hardy throws the piss in his face, Seamus, I mean, look at him, look at this, this, and the crowd was chanting, you got pissed on, but they had to bleep out the word piss. Because, for some reason, you, have, you can't say the word piss, but you can have a man throw a jug of it in someone's face. Just, this company is so just out of touch. That's, that's the main thing I took out of this. this. This company is just out of touch, dude. They seriously are. The, out of touch is the best way to describe this company. Quite frankly, at this point, I can't even be bothered. Like, ugh, dude, dude, dude. <sighs> you know, actually, stop. I'm going to make this review like five, six minutes. I'm just done. I'm just done. Pretty much, my interest in reviewing these shows is an all-time low. Seriously, watching these shows is just... <sighs> Man, I can't, I can't be bothered. So, yeah, we got this segment to open. This was the first 15 minutes of the show. So we got this segment, and then we got what you're about to see now. Yeah, backstage, Seamus is in this mirror in the bathroom, just downing medication or something. I don't know what it was. It was downing something, spitting it out. He's, like, washing his face. And the doctor comes in and says, Jeff Hardy tested negative. So Seamus is all angry. He knocks some stuff off the bathroom. Just ridiculous, dude. So, that's what we got to open the show. Then, we proceeded to get the New Day versus Cesaro and Nakamura. New Day came out. They did their uh, Black Lives Matter, like, tribute kind of kind of type thing. Which, that was awesome. I, I really respected that. And then, they proceeded to have the match. It was whatever. Cesaro and Nakamura just beat the New Day. So, we'll probably get that match at the pay-per-view backlash. I don't really give a damn. And then, we got the Daniel Bryan, AJ Styles, IC title match. It was everything you thought it would be. If I, if I wanted to be one of these, you know, regular type channels, I'd review the whole match. I'd review move for move. Basically, just great psychology, great in-ring work, four commercials, awesome storytelling, and in the end, AJ Styles got the win. So, AJ Styles won the IC title. Pretty good stuff. Pretty cool stuff. I was a fan of it. And that's about it, really. So, now we're about to have a main event of the six-man tag match, Strowman 
and you know heavy machinery and Tucker's all of a sudden back. So those guys taking on what Ms. Morrison and Ziggler two days before Backlash. I don't give a damn. So that's a SmackDown review. The the piss segment was garbage. Like, comment, sub, because no drill. See ya.